In the scripture, I, I, I don't remember the reference of it, but the Bible says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. Uzziah was a genius mm -hmm. king. He, he, mm -hmm. he made implements of war. I mean, he was just a great, mm -hmm. great king. And um, mm. tragically, who the prophet was depending on died. Yeah. So he went to the temple. This is in Isaiah 6. He went to the temple and he gets into the temple and he's expecting God to be downcast and God to be, you know, in the, in the down of the dumps. And he walks in, he says, in the year that the king died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. Mm. And there Jesus. stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, with twenty mm. covered his face, and with twenty covered his feet, and with twenty did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the mm. Lord of hosts. The whole earth oh, is full of his glory. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. God is in oh, control Jesus. of this nation. God mm. is in control of the universe. God has everything under control. Mm -hmm. And sure, we get discouraged. And sure, we look at the normal things and the natural things of earth. And we think, mm. my God, how long will they do this? How low will they go? How far will we drift? Mm. And but what we've got to keep doing in our lives is to turn our eyes mm. upon Jesus. Look full Jesus. in his wonderful face. <laughs> And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Get your eyes off the stuff. I, I, I battle this all the time. I'm a news junkie. I'm a political junkie. I love all this stuff. I love the back. I love the parry. I love, if I wasn't a preacher and what I do, I'd be up to my eyes in mm. politics because I see so many things that can be exploited against the enemy and against those who stand against us. Mm. But there are seasons when I get, I did this before the, the election. Mm. I, man, I, I, was, I was more in, into Trump and politics than I was into Jesus, to be quite frank. I was busy thinking, how, how can this be changed? Mm. And after all is said and done, when your heart is disappointed and you see your country about to take a swing in the darkness like we've never seen before. We have, they have two mm. years. They have 24 months to the next election when I believe will be a tremendous resurgence back the other way. But I promise you, you will watch in the next two years, hell break out in America. Mm -hmm. uh, it, but in the year that King Uzziah died, in the year that Donald Trump was voted out of office, I saw mm -hmm. also the Lord. Oh, and I got good news for you. Donald Trump being the president or Joe Biden being the president or Margaret Thatcher being the president or whoever is in the, in the, in the Downing Street or wherever. I saw mm -hmm. also the Lord. And he was unaffected by what Uzziah's what? death because all they could see was the seraphims around him worshipping him saying holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. And in your circumstance what today, what? whatever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever the devil has marshaled against you, I come against it in the name of Jesus and I ask God to reveal to you the fact that he is greater than your circumstance. He is bigger than yes, your problems. Lord. He's going to see you through this thing into clear yes, uplands of glory and joy because he is on your mm. side and if God be for you, who can be against you? My God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. I can feel the mm. Holy Ghost right now. It's time to stop being downcast. It's time to stop worrying mm -hmm. about the issues and start worrying about, worrying about the issue. And that is on yes. Christ, the solid rock solid I rock. stand. All of the ground sinking sand. I also heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go to us? Then I heard, Here am I. Send me. Mm. And you and I are the answer to the world we live in. You are the salt. Yes, we are. You are the light, Pastor, friend yes, of mine. Yes, we are. You don't have to yes, sit there are. and curse the darkness. You are light. And all you got to do is be who you are, and God will reveal to those around you, that's the way, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. And Derek, yeah. I'm telling yeah. you, yeah. 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 people are looking 
like never before for someone to stand up and blow the trumpet and make a certain That's sound it. and regather the troops to say, this is what we believe in and this is where we're going. Yes, my God, my God. Hebrews 10.35, the writer in Hebrews says, so do not throw away your confidence. Do not throw away your confidence. Don't. If you were confident when Trump was in office, do not throw away your confidence. What does he say? He says, it will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, that's all we've got to do is keep doing the will of God. Yeah. And I understand we need to blow the trumpet. We need to put the word out there. We need to make people aware. I get all that. But we need to just continue to do the will yes. of God. He says, if you will, then you will receive what he has promised. And I love verse 37. This is going to be my mantra for the rest of the day. For in just a little while, he Hallelujah. who is coming will come. And man, I understand that we're talking about the end times. I understand that we're talking about going to heaven. And, and I understand that we're talking about uh, the next phase when we get to eternity. And I can't wait. But if he promises that in just a little while he'll come, then that yeah. is the character of God. And if we're oh, struggling yeah. today, if I'm struggling in my church, if I will just not throw away my confidence, if I will just do the will of God That's and I truth. will persevere in that, then in just a little while, he yeah. who is coming will come. I'm looking forward to his coming in at wow. Sarah Land first, this coming Sunday. I'm looking yes, forward to him showing up and touching people and changing lives. On Daily Faith today, on Daily Faith tomorrow, I'm looking for him to show up and change our lives. My God. Hallelujah. The Bible hmm. says he's coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. And I believe that God is going to work in the church like he's never done before and to transform yes. us. Let me tell you, there are seasons when something happens that is transformative. Most mm. times it is the result of a disaster. Yeah. Most yep. times it. You, it always seems that the good guys always win the first fight. When, when Hitler ran across Europe, like in, in, in all of Europe, right down to the English Channel, France had a, a, a defensive system called the Maginot Line, and it was, it was impregnable. The French boasted about the Maginot Line. It will stop the Germans. And all the Germans did was the Germans went around the, the outside edges of the Maginot Line, and they told, they told Churchill, the, the, the Germans are at the English Channel. And he said, what about the Maginot Line? Fired without a shot being one shot being fired. It was, it was overrun. And let me tell you something. It looked like hopeless days. My mom and my dad lived through those days when mm. the whole nation of, of England and, and, and Scotland and Wales and Ireland sat there under the, the shadow of this monolith, this huge machine that had run across all of Europe, had redrawn the lines mm. of history just in days. Mm. They were doing in days what took in the First World War months and years for a few hundred mm. yards of, of, of territory, ground, fields, Flanders fields. And these guys showed up in the Blitzkrieg and ran to the coast of France. And, and, and the whole world thought it was over. But it's never over because God always anoints someone to stand up not perfect by a million miles. God doesn't use perfect people. The only perfect person sitting on the right hand of God the Father. God uses available Amen. people. And a little mm. baldy headed guy, mm. 65 years of age, same age as I am now, stood up and said, we will never surrender. We will fight in the beaches. We will fight in the fields. We will fight on the landing grounds. You will fight in the villages. We'll never quit. And your president, he, Roosevelt, said to Churchill, get out, of, get out of England and come to Nova Scotia, come to Canada and take the Royal Navy with you and we'll fight the Germans from there. And Churchill says, nah, I'm staying right here. And when they reinvaded Europe on D-Day, your president, he was then the, the commander of the forces in Europe, Eisenhower, he had to order Winston Churchill ground him like a child and say you are not going on those beaches you are he said well let me be in a ship on in the channel and they said every german gun will be pointing at you let me tell you something we need someone in your life in my life to stand up and say we've gone enough 
We've gone too far. It's time to turn this thing around. It's time to stop who we are, to go back to what we should be. And if we can do that, let me tell you, your church pastor, your people will respond. If we are weak-mouthed and we speak all these generalities, they're sitting in a world where where oppression Mm. is coming at them. And they need someone to stand up and say, that's black, that's white, that's what we believe, this is where we're going, and they will rally around you. Yes, the more amen. you sit and think, well, it was been nice and we shouldn't do this and we mm. can't do that. Well, they'll just say, mm. you're right, we'll just sit here until we die. And I'm not, I'm not planning on sitting here until I die. No, no sir. sir. Hallelujah. 